G'day guys, Batch here, welcome back to the channel. Now how Lioness chasing, and there she is. I've picked up another zone. Alright, it's in a... <laughs> this is my second lion zone. So it's taken various hunts to get my second zone. Now I'm going to try and shoot her. I actually had the 338 for this hunt. Got a 4 easy kudu over there. Now that could be gold. I have my um, consecutive harvest up. Well, I hope they've stayed. I was out here early today. There goes a the wildebeest. Oh, that bloody thing, right? And I got... Oh, look, the lioness stood up. And I got all my consecutive harvests up. So hopefully that is still here. Like, I got them all up. I logged out because I had stuff to do. And the game... Like, I shot a lion twice with the 7mm... And it went down to 0 to 25, which is pretty serious. Like it had a medium bleed on, not a slow one, a medium bleed. And then within, like I've, I tracked it for, I don't know, about a kilometre. And then within 100 metres, it had healed itself. It wasn't bleeding anymore. And I think, really, if the animal goes down to 0 to 25 with two 7 mil bullets in it, although obviously I didn't hit a vital, bad shooting by me, I probably hit the shoulder and shot it then up the clacker well it should still die just my opinion uh, let's see so that's about 150 away I think let's see if oh if it can turn away from me uh, we've hit it with the 338 and that should be pretty serious it, there it is there still Oh, that's got to go down, do not we hit it again? I think it might be down. Let's run over and have a look. Now I'm way at the back of Central Savannah here. And so we've got the big hill thing there, and here's the road. So yeah, I'll show you where this lion zone is. It'll probably be different on your map. I don't think all the zones are in the same spots on anyone's map, so... Uh, let's not get bamboozled and lose where we were. Yeah, it looks like it's down. So, it might get a partial quick kill, which is good. 338, done its job. Let's have a look at the map where we are. Oh, I left there, I think it was. And that is... Rolaza Biani. And right across the road here. You can see Central Savannah. So just down that road. And we've found that lion zone. So pretty cool. A neat zone. Let's pick up the lioness and hopefully we can get a few more today. I can enjoy the lions. I just want the game to work properly of course. And I want to be able to claim my trophy. There we go. <laughs> Let's confirm it. It's a silver. We do have our consecutive harvest up. We got 64% of the quick kill. We hit the thoracic vertebrae. Alright, so that's our old kill shot, which doesn't work anymore. Then we hit the right lung, liver, stomach, and left lung. So the bullet travelled right through it at 148 metres, and that one was at 142. Pretty cool. I want a big male. I want a gold. And I want the game to run properly. Please! Oh man, I've just climbed into a tower. I've got a wildebeest or something running off there, but look here. Got a really big male lion there. And I had one behind me chasing, so... There's obviously a couple around here. That's a six hard. So it could be silver. Alright, this is hard to shoot out the back of this thing. So I had one over here, and it was chasing. It was also a male, but I can't see it. Oh wow, look at that there. I'm going to go for it from here and hopefully the tower doesn't get in the way in any way, shape or form. Oh, I think I've more gut shot at it than anything. I went for the double lung and I pulled back a bit, my bad. Oh, no, 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 while wow, they take off. Oh, I'm going to have to go down and track it. 
Man, not a major shot. I reckon I got shot of that. It should kill it. The 338 should kill it. Wow, we dude. Alright, thank goodness it has gone down. There'll be no quick kill, although it didn't get too far. Probably a couple hundred meters we tracked it. So we've got our big boy. Let's have a look at him. Let's, oh, let me just squash stuff around it. And we get a better look at it. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Look at the fat stomach on it. Oh, we are just going to take a happy snap. We'll back off. Try and, there we go. Confirm this trophy. And it's silver. No quick kill. Trophy rang in 44. $1,324. Score of 645. So where did we hit it? Yes, stomach and intestines. My bad. So I should have been aiming a bit more up there. Oh, but at least the 338 put it down. Unlike the 7mm, two bullets and one lion, and it healed itself. Okay, I'm back in that tower. Got gem spot. Just all through there. They are just everywhere. I've just had saw a lion there. I've been calling the jackrabbit caller. And the distressed fawn caller. Just hoping a lion would pop out somewhere. I've got a nice male there. Now he's at 259. Not an impossible shot, but wouldn't mind getting a kill shot in. I've also had a jackal down there calling back as well. Now I'm not sure if he's popped out because I'm calling, or he's just having a roam. You know, he seems to be coming a little bit closer, but he's really hanging to that lake there. that make him move? 264, we'd get a long shot from there. I'm going to try this caller again. Just so we can get him a little bit closer. Because we know what they're like. Like one minute they're standing, next minute they're running. If someone's the shot you don't take, that's the one you miss. Oh, he's just standing there. Damn you, lion. Our oh, gun's on 150. How far again is he? Oh, man, he's 269. I'm going to have to put the gun probably on 300. And hopefully, maybe aim a bit lower than I really want to hit. Oh man, that should have been a double lunger, I'm hoping. What's he doing? He's running. Oh man, he ran down to the lake. Oh, I'm gonna go down and have a look. Oh, there he is, there he is. That missed. Wow. He's behind that tree. See there? Oh. He's got to be really injured. I should have hit one lung for sure. Now that jackal won't be coming. <laughs> Not that I was worried about that anyway. Uh, we're hitting there. He's run down here. I can't see him anywhere. So I'm going to go down and have a look and hopefully he is down. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I'll put the gun on 150. Oh, he was down the north to 25. I'm sure that's him. And healed himself. Uh, let's run down and check the road. Like, I've got his tracks just there. And I see a line running off. I'm pretty sure this is him. Now, once again, if this is him, he went down the north to 25, back there on the tracks. And appears to have healed itself. Let's just double check and make sure this is the one or not. Now we shot him on the road, so it's going to be very easy to find the blood. And it will be pretty weird if it was the same one. Like, I'm not sure how they can get down the north of 25 and then stop bleeding. Like, to me, that's dumb. So actually, I'm finding it very annoying at the moment in this game. Oh no, maybe it's a different lion. 
All right. My bad. Different lion. But the other one's still at north of 25. Back up there. If we look at the map. There's where we tracked it. And it stopped bleeding. So, very annoyed at that. Now, let's pick up this one. Non-vital hit with a 338. I'll probably hit it in the back, which is not a kill shot anymore. Let's check the next blood track. What's that calling? Scrub here. Wow, come on. Start going down for me, son. Oh, we hit it again. So two non-vital hits. 50 to 75. Oh, we see tracks here. Like, I find it amazing how the, the animals are healing themselves. That Just the north to 25 thing freaks me out. Maybe if there was 50 to 75, 25 to 50, and then, then it healed itself if we didn't get a, a good shot in. But once it's north to 25, you think it'd, that'd be it. You'll find it dead just around the next corner. But it's just not happening in this game anymore. Like, I'm not sure they they run it like that. To me, I find that annoying. Like, even in the Hunter Classic, the animal will eventually die. Or in this game, they said, well, you know what? They heal themselves. They have a combat medical kit on them, and they just heal themselves. Deal with it. So, like, okay. But you are annoying the crap out of me, and it looks like this one has gone down. Thank goodness. Because the other one's still on the run. And I'm just giving up on tracking it. I'm going to try and find a snort of 25 track again so I can show you. Uh, let's have a look at this beastie. Should have two bullets in it. And it has. It's a silver. No quick kill. We hit the intestines and then the femurus. So, our back leg. And we hit it right in the guts there. So, not a real big male. It was a six hard. I mean, appear to have a pig over there. I might check it out. I oh, mean, I'm back on the tracks at the other line. I just have one runoff up there. Must have heard me. I might keep calling him. If I go back to that tower. So this is the old line tracks. The one that we shot won't die. That's that one. We have another one now just up here. I wonder if it's the same one. That'd be interesting. Yeah, so I followed this for a fair while and it healed itself, so sort of like not worth it when that happens. <laughs> but I have picked up another couple of lion zones. So that's good news there. We've only got three or four now, instead of just one. I only had one for ages. Now I have picked up another couple. So, pretty happy about that. Look, we only did wound this thing, but if you follow these tracks, you'll get, there it is there, look, north of 25. And it just keeps running and going everywhere. I think once it gets down that far, it should, should eventually die. But... That's just the nature of the game nowadays. They don't care it went down the north of 25. Not their problem. Alright, so this lion ran up here somewhere. I'm still yet to be attacked by a lion. I, I've had them right near me. And they run right past me. Like, I'm wearing the ghillie suit. Do they think I'm a big bloody bush or... I have no idea. Alright, let's look at the map. Alright, there's one tower right in front of us. We'll head back there. And we'll try and see this other lion. Now, I'm not sure, you know, why they're not dying at north of 25. That's the second one that's done it to me. Oh, the game still is a bit weird. We had a, a multiplayer game on the weekend. We're at Leighton Lakes. I had a okay elk in front of me. It wasn't that far, maybe 
I don't know, 80 metres. So I shot it with the magnum. You saw the thing buck up in the air. It'd been hit and ran off. So I ran up to where I just shot it from. No tracks at all. No tracks of it walking in. No tracks of the... No blood spatter. And no tracks of it running off. So even though I shot it, there was no tracks at all from this elk. Didn't leave any tracks. So, you know, I was. I said to Ali, let's get out of this map. We both had had, you know, some weird things happen in the multiplayer. So we came here to Savannah and had a hunt. But wow, things like that still annoy me. Like, if, when, when was this game put out? 2017? Like, can't you iron out the bugs like that yet? Like, is it too hard? Uh, lines across here somewhere. I'm gonna start up here, give a few calls, and hopefully, I can't doubt they, they shouldn't spook that bad, should they? It's a bloody lion, mate. <coughs> and I'll double flute for a while. We'll see if we can get him to come in and kill him. <laughs> Instead of just wounded him and having him get down the north of 25 and then live forever. Okay, I've just had a lion, but over here, like I'm not, I can't see properly. That looks like it might be an albino war pig. Like there's a lot of them going through, and they're like super dark, as you can see. There's a really light one over there. I've just had a lion roar back here somewhere. I'm going to try and call these war pigs in. I've also got a springbok over here. There's a black one with them. That herd's been around. They keep... I've seen them in the last few days. And they've always got the black one with them. Now we've got gems bok over there. But these war pigs... Where'd it go? Like, one of them looks like it might be albino, or bleached. <laughs> Something's going on. But now there's a lion around. They might nick off, because a lion roared, but I think he's back here. Or he or she. Oh, there goes a springbok by the looks of it. Now that probably smelt me, because the wind is blowing that way. Let's have a little kiss, keep our eye. There's a war pig there. Now they haven't totally nicked off, they're all in the herd. So in there somewhere, there might be an albino. There. What is that? Look at that. Oh, yeah, that is definitely something different, isn't it? One, eight, three. I'll give another quick call now. I might shoot it because I'm scared the lion's going to come. I'm scared it might run back in the bush and I won't see it. Is that white? Is it, that is something weird about that, isn't there? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want that gun. That's the one I want. 270, baby. Oh, it's coming. That is definitely albino or something, isn't it? Like, what is that? Give another call. I think I'll find I have on my maps. I don't have a lot of diamonds. But I do get a lot of albino animals. All right, you're 169, so you're probably right for the picking at 150 with a nice long shot that's it all right that should go down yeah it's down all right that's dead i'm gonna go over there and pick that up any lions running off and the only thing i went off about that north to one uh north to 25 and then it you know it kept running because i shot the lion about about there. Then the north of 25 is just a bit beyond where that springbok is. So I didn't even get far and I lost all that blood. Went down the north of 25. And it's still alive. 
Let's go pick up this pig and hopefully it's albino. Alright, well here's the shot. Let's check that's poo. Sometimes, what's, what is it going to tell me? It's going to tell me just now. So here's our blood. Let's check the... So I remember I was tracking one once and it told me it was albino. Yes, see? That there to disturb veg told me this was albino. So I just, I was looking at the pigs and I thought I'm going to leave them alone. You know, sometimes you just keep looking at the herd just to, you know, see if there's a level 5 or some stuff going on. And look, we've got ourselves an albino war pig. Wowee. Ali actually got on her map the other week an albino wildebeest. Look pretty cool too. I'm going to take a couple of photos for the old steamer mite. Look at that. Look at the pink eyes on it. But it's not dead white, is it? Like, it's just pale. But compared to the other ones, I'd say, yeah, it's pretty white. I'm going to take a photo for me. Right, let's get rid of the gun. Let me close here like this. Look at that war pig, man. That is awesome. Wow, we. Very lucky to get that, I think. And we should get maybe 100% on everything. Let's find out. Yes, we did, because we double lunged it. Right lung. Oh no, only one lung. Liver and stomach. It's a gold, so very nice albino to get. So there we go, my first albino war pig. Never got one of these before an albino. I've got, you know, a lot of other animals in it, but not war pig. And I'm quite happy about that. Hasn't been a total waste of time, has it? Oh no. Well, as you can see, the shadows are getting long. The sun is going to go down. It's going to call it quits here. We probably got lucky today with that war pig, the albino warthog. Got very lucky with that, that it was just over there. I just kept looking at the... I, didn't, I couldn't see them all, so I just kept checking them out. Till through there, I saw something that looked pretty pale. And yes, it was an albino, or albino, however you like to say it. So I got lucky with that one. Um, but on the weekend, we have a lot of had a lot of problems in multiplayer in this game. And then twice today... Like, I shot a lion, I don't know, it was leading up to that lake. We shot it maybe through there, there. And then when it got to about where that is, it was north to 25, and it just kept going. So, it didn't take it long to pretty much bleed out, but no luck in it dying. And when we picked up the warthog, uh... I still had all my consecutive harvests, so that thing's still alive out there somewhere. Even though it should be dead. So that sort of annoys me with this game. And it's still not fixed. It's been going on since day dot, and it still does it in this game. Like, I don't know if you don't hit it in the lung or the liver or the, you know, whatever. It might live, which is fair enough. But if you shoot it there, and it gets down to that lake, which is just there, and it's north of 25 already... You'd expect to find that thing dead, wouldn't you? Well, I would anyway. Anyway, let's end this story. End this episode on a story. Gems blocker coming out. Because when I see the lions here, they actually remind me. Because I have seen lions close up before in real life. And no, I've never been to Africa. This was in Victoria. When I was a kid, we had two lion parks. They weren't that far out of Melbourne. I think one was in Bacchus Marsh. And one was in Boa. Now you might go, what the hell's a lion park? I know what a, a water park is, or a theme park, or an amusement park. What is a lion park? Well, it is what it sounds like. Back in them days, they had these places sort of out in the countryside, and they were acres and acres of land. You know, they had donkey rides, small plane rides, boat rides, you know, all the crap that goes along with that sort of thing. Other animals you could look at. Then they had this big fenced off area with a road, pretty much like this road we got out here in it. And you drove from one end, like it was all fenced off, then the guys would be at the gate at one end, and at the other end, there'd be guys at another gate. And it took a while to drive through, 
And it was just like it was my dad that was driving the car with us kids in the car, my mum. And they let you in the gate and it's full of lions and lionesses. And they're just there. Like we saw one lion on the car of a bonnet or hood, if you want to, <laughs> if you're an American, the bonnet here, we call, you know, what you call a hood, we call a bonnet. And it was just lying on their hood. So these things could have, like if you wound down your window, like it said, had a sign, keep your windows up, but no one was there enforcing that. If you wound down your window, you could have got your head bitten off. Like, by the time I was a teenager, these parks were gone. Obviously, <laughs> People <laughs> thought this is so dangerous. I don't. I don't know how it existed. Like seriously, when you think back about it, you just don't realise how did these things exist. And we had two of them, and you could drive through, and there were man eaters in there. And you know, you get idiot people now. They jump out the car, try and take on the lion. Like we had a guy in Melbourne Zoo years back. He thought he was a ninja, so he broke into the zoo at night. Sculled the fence of the lion enclosure they had there to go in there and tame him. He thought he could go in there and speak to him. Well, that didn't turn out good. You could imagine what they found in the morning. Mr. Ninja wasn't in one piece anymore. But they still let us drive through like a big area. It was acres. <laughs> area full of lions. And it's just your dad driving the car. All the kids are in it. Your sisters and what have you. Your mum's in the car. And you just drive through. Uh, weird. I can't... That had never happened today anywhere. Like, I don't know, maybe in China, but... Or some, you know, country that don't really follow laws or have safety rules. But wow. It was crazy back then. And we done it here in Australia. There was two in Victoria, just outside Melbourne... So every time I see a lion in this game, that's what it reminds me of. It just brings me back to that stupidity of what happened back in the old days. Oh, thank God it doesn't happen anymore, because you could just imagine what would happen. And as the sun goes down, geez, that looks nice. Sorry about my little complaining today. I just get, I've played this all weekend. We've had so many problems in multiplayer, and for them to carry over in single player really annoys me. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for dropping by. And I'll catch you on the next one.